The radical left is in meltdown mode. They're losing in state capitals. They're losing in Congress. And now the Supreme Court is crushing their agenda. That's why their new goal is to pack the Supreme Court. It's a very dangerous threat, guys. Watch this video and take action. Hi, guys. Aaron Dorr here with an update for gun owners. Yeah, For the radical left here in this country, June is supposed to be their big month. This is the month when their corporations, schools, coffee shops, and everybody else tries to force the transgender agenda down the throats of the American people. It's unescapable. But for the last couple of years, June has become an incredible month for conservatives, for gun owners, and everybody else who loves freedom in this country. And that's because our Supreme Court currently has a six to three conservative majority, and they have issued body blows to the radical left's agenda item for the last couple of years. Consider last year we had the Bruin decision. The Bruin decision was the biggest gun rights case since 2008. It did away with means end scrutiny, and it also did away with the constitutionality of abusive may issue concealed carry laws. Last year, we saw Roe v. Wade struck down by the Supreme Court. This year in June, just in the last couple of weeks, SCOTUS said that Joe Biden did not have the authority to eliminate $430 million in student loan debt. They also affirmed a Christian cake baker has the option to refuse to serve uh, customers he doesn't agree with. And they confirmed that college admissions cannot be based on race any longer in this country. So for the radical left, they're losing their mind, right? They can't pass their agenda right now in a GOP-controlled house. And every June, they're seeing the Supreme Court deal body blows against their previously passed agenda items. But make no mistake, they are not going to sit back and just take this in perpetuity. In fact, today's video is about a major threat you must be aware of. It's called court packing. The bill is H.R. 3422, and the Senate companion bill is S-1616. And what this bill would do is give the Congress the authority to increase the number of justices on the United States Supreme Court. Currently, as most of you know, we have nine justices on the Supreme Court, one chief justice, eight associates, and it's been that way for a very, very, very long time. But all it takes to increase the number of justices on the Supreme Court is a simple majority in the House and Senate and Joe Biden's signature. And if that happens, what this bill is designed to do is expand the number of justices from the current nine to 13, 12 associates and one chief justice. And that would give Joe Biden enough numbers to totally seize control of the United States Supreme Court. More than that, the bill also establishes a quorum process where it would only take eight justices being present to conduct the business of the Supreme Court. And so as you can see, if Biden has a chance to sign this, it will destroy the legitimacy of our court and it will give the left what they want, complete control over our nation's legal system. And again, if that happens, when it comes to the Second Amendment, our gun rights would be obliterated, obliterated. Number one on their agenda item would be to undo last year's Bruin decision. This would allow blue states across America to reinstitute the most abusive may issue permit schemes you could possibly imagine. And it would also do away with me. It also reinstate rather means and scrutiny which allows judges to insert their personal bias against gun rights when deciding whether or not future gun control laws are constitutional or not. We would also, though, see a liberally controlled Supreme Court issue decisions eventually on red flag gun seizures. We have not yet to this point had a red flag law considered by the Supreme Court. But once they seize control of the court, the left will rapidly accelerate cases up to the Supreme Court to make sure they rule them constitutional. We'll also see a decision from the Supreme Court on whether or not assault weapons and the, uh, those, those, those bills, those laws are constitutional. This year alone, Washington and Illinois have passed these laws in, on the books. We now have 10 states in America which ban AR-15s. Those also have never been challenged in the Supreme Court. These days, the left is scared to do it because they know they'd lose. If they seize control of the court, they will again accelerate cases regarding assault weapons to the Supreme Court to make sure they get a favorable decision about their constitutionality.
But that's just kind of the beginning. That's just the surface. We would also absolutely see a case before the Supreme Court that is designed to undo the 2008 Heller decision. As you guys probably all know, Heller's landmark decision uh, held the fact that the right to keep and bear arms is an individual right, not a collective right that rests in the hands of the government alone. It has been the Heller decision that's been the, the basis on the expansion of gun rights in state legislatures, in Congress, and in the courts since 2008. We would absolutely see a case brought before SCOTUS that was designed to rule that the right to keep and bear arms is a collective right given to the government, not an individual right given to you and to me. And so everything is on the line when it comes to our gun rights. Whatever else you do, guys, hit the link above or below this broadcast and sign your petition telling your congressmen and your senators to vote no. And I want to be clear about this. A lot of times people ask me, well, what's the point? I'm in a very, very red state. My guys, my gals are always going to vote the right way. That's wrong. That's just flat out wrong. We have seen betrayal time and time again over the last couple of years from Republicans who join forces with Joe Biden to pass gun control. Right now, this very moment, we have Republicans who are the lead sponsors of gun control in Congress, like H.R. 715. So the idea that your congressman, your senator could never betray you on a gun rights issue like this is simply not based in reality. Make your voice heard. Hit the link. Sign your petition. But I also hear from people, Aaron, I'm in a blue state. What's the point? I know they're going to vote the wrong way. That's also not necessarily the case, at least not when it comes to this issue. There is a large number of Democrats right now who are quietly concerned about these bills in D.C. for two reasons. One of them is the ramifications when it comes to their future election campaigns. They believe that this issue has the ability to very much harm their careers and their right. The other concern they have, though, is that if we can expand the court now from nine to 13 justices, why couldn't the GOP, when they get control again someday, add 10 more, 20 more, 50 more? And all of a sudden, America's august body, the Supreme Court, becomes a kangaroo court, becomes a laughingstock. And so there are Democrats in D.C. right now who are very concerned about this as well. So if you're in a blue state, same thing. Hit the link below and sign your petition. You know, we're a gun rights organization. Our concern is on the Second Amendment. But if the radical left seizes control of the Supreme Court, they would not only destroy our gun rights, they would attack everything else that we love about this country. When it comes to border security, national defense, our economy, social issues like abortion, every issue you could name, the radical left would very intentionally pass horrible laws in Congress or in state capitals with the goal of having those issues challenged in court with the ultimate goal being get those in front of the Supreme Court and have a decision that rules them constitutional. So this is not at all just a gun rights issue. Everything you love about America would be challenged and then be ruled constitutional by a liberal Supreme Court. Guys, again, whatever else you do, take a moment, hit the link, make sure your voice is heard, and tell your members of Congress to vote no on H.R. 3422 and S1616. Also, share this video broadcast all across the Internet. Make sure your friends and family know what's happening and how dangerous court packing is. And if you haven't done so, guys, hit the link below, join the fight for freedom today, and we'll keep you guys informed. Stay free. 